Now we're going to add a second picker to our form, but this time we want something slightly different. We want a segmented control. This is a specialized kind of picker that shows options in a horizontal button list. And it works great when you only have a handful of options to work with. Now our form currently has two sections already, one for the amount and number of people. And then down here, one will show the final result, the actual finished amount. And it's currently just check amount for now, eventually it'll show in that plus tip and so forth. Now, in the middle of these two sections, I wanna add a third section to show a tip percentage picker. So I'll say there's a section here with a picker called tip percentage with selection for that bound to the value dollar tip percentage, the value we made earlier. Then for the values for that picker, I'll say for each tip percentages, like that, ID of backslash dot self, text dollar zero, format dot percent. And that loops over all the values we made into this tip percentages array up here, 10, 15, 20, 25, zero, and makes each one its own text view as a percentage. So you can see already over here, we have 10, 15, 20, 25, and zero as a nice pop-up menu. That's okay, it's not bad, but I wanna do better. I'm gonna modify this picker to say dot picker style of dot segmented. And now you get a different style. I press Command R so you can see it bigger on the screen. It's immediate one tap press now to choose between different various percentages. So I'm sort of one tap bring the menu up and another one tap select something, it's just one tap jump between percentages. And it works great when you have only a handful of options like you can see here. When there's many people, for example, it would look a bit crushed, right? Now, as you can see, it's not easy to select stuff, but things aren't quite what we think because um, <laughs> one problem us app developers face is we take for granted that our UI works the way we intended to do. We designed it, right? So a particular problem, and so we automatically know what everything means. But look at this, if you can, with fresh eyes. If you're coming to the very first time, we have up here, a dollar sign you can type into. Fine, that's check amount, that makes sense. And if it's clear, you can see the word amount in there. So it's clearly for amount. This says number of people. Self-explanatory, four people. Uh, this label at the bottom will show some final total down here. So we can write, we ignore that for now, it's fine. But this middle section, percentage numbers here, well, what do these mean? What does it actually mean 20%? Now we know that means select a 20% tip, but it's not obvious on the screen. And we can, and honestly should, do better. One option is add another text view in this uh, section here, saying something like a uh, text, how much do you want to tip? Like this, and it'll be there. It's fairly clear now, but it doesn't look great. It looks like an item all by itself you can kind of tap into and do something with, rather than label for that segmented control. A better idea is to modify this whole section itself. Because in Swift UI, we can add header text and footer text or other kinds of views to these sections directly, which is actually a great way to add explanatory text for a section very easily. In fact, we can basically move this same text thing here, this string, directly into the section header um, rather than just like having a loose label inside it. So I'll take that out to my clipboard, uh, Command X, and then delete the text view. If a section, just do section, open parens, paste, like that. I was saying that is the title for our section. So now if we run again, we should see a much clearer title here. How much do you want the tip with percentage right there? And look, I know it's a small change, but the result looks a lot better. The text now looks like a prompt for the text uh, picker selection below it. So it's clearer what it all does.